I'm sure you've seen the old television game show called To Tell the Truth, whether it's the one from many decades ago or the current remake of it, where three people come out and they claim to be a certain individual, but two of them are lying. And so you gotta figure out who the liars are and who the real person is. You gotta figure out who's telling the truth and who's not telling the truth. Sometimes that's very, very hard to do. In John chapter 13, Jesus is eating that final meal with his disciples and beginning about verse 18, he begins a discussion about someone among that group in that room would betray him. Someone would lift his heel against him. The disciples are all surprised. They're all shocked. In fact, verse 21 says that they looked at one another doubting of whom he spoke. Of course, we know and Jesus knew that it was Judas who would do this. But apparently, Judas was so good at hiding his true feelings, so good at continuing to interact on the same level in the same way and with the same demeanor with his fellow disciples, they never suspected him. They never thought, I bet it's Judas, because they, they looked at one another and said, who could it possibly be? And then a little later in the chapter, when Jesus actually kind of give them a very strong indication of who it is, they still don't quite put it all together. You know, many times we're betrayed by someone. It might be a coworker, a spouse, it could be a neighbor or, or any number of scenarios that may happen where we're betrayed and we, we never saw it coming. But Jesus knew before it happened. And while I do not have all the answers to all the difficulties that something like this creates in the lives of individuals and all the hurt and the pain that it leaves behind, I hope there is some degree of comfort to be found in knowing that Jesus knows what's going on in our lives and Jesus knows when we hurt and when we are hurt by someone else. Jesus himself experienced it and Jesus knew about it beforehand unlike we do when it happens to us. Jesus didn't stop it. And I guess to some degree we should not expect him to stop it happening to us if he didn't even stop it happening to his own self. And again, I don't have all the answers, but we can still take great comfort in knowing that Jesus has been there and Jesus knows how we feel and Jesus can help us when we hurt.